Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, Relocate with Kaya. I am Kaya. I provide online support via coaching and consulting with individuals, employees, and families that are moving abroad. I provide them with relocation, country-specific resources, and guide them along their move abroad journey. And on our channel, Rich and I share our own personal experience of moving from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to Johannesburg, South Africa with our beautiful daughter, Nina. And today, we will be chit-chatting about, um, or just chit-chatting, yeah, chit-chatting about what people's responses and reactions were when we told them that we were moving to uh, South Africa. So stay tuned for that. Hi friends, we are back. Uh, so today we just wanted to share a couple stories about people's responses and reactions um, to the news that we were going to move all the way over to South Africa. Um, so it, it was a mixed bag. You know, some of it you might have expected, you know, the typical, uh, you know, close friends and family, you know, parents, for instance, of, oh, you know, we love you guys so much. We don't want you to move so far away. Um, we're not going to stand in the way, but we're going to let you know that we'll miss you and, and it's very far. Um, other reactions we weren't quite expecting. Um, it ranged from the, oh my gosh, that's great. I wish I could do that to why there? And that last one was sort of one that we weren't quite ready for. No. Um, we can get into the, the whys and the, the hows on that. So yes. <laughs> pass it over to you. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, well, you want to do the parents' reaction? Your, your parents had a more reasonable well, well, response. Yeah. Well, I just I basically, you know, just said just now yeah they loved us they didn't want us to go that far um they weren't a roadblock or a hindrance or anything like that um they had actually been to this before pre nina oh, yeah. like many years ago when That's we lived right. in california um but yeah i mean they were excited for us um they weren't excited about the distance yes. about being so far away mm -hmm. um but you know after having visited here going through the you know the pandemic you know, for me and for us, it was an opportunity that we couldn't pass up. And even though, like on my side, I do feel, you know, a little guilty because yeah. they're older about being, you know, so far away. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they'll be out here soon, but, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my parents, um, my mom, when I told her, um, I think, yeah, um, yeah, her response was, uh, is Rich gonna be all right? <laughs> Which wasn't a surprise because she loves her some rich, but uh, yeah, no, she, I don't know, yeah, like she was worried about, you know, rich, of course, and then us as a couple, um, and then I think it eventually, I think it, uh, you know, the usual tropes that come out about, you know, the continent, oh, it's, you know, so poor, and then safety and all those things, and then my father, who has been to South Africa, I think he's been there one time. At least once. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure the number of times, but he's been to at least a couple other countries on the continent, too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You can elaborate on uh, Eugene and his response. <laughs> well, from what I recall, he mm -hmm. was very, um, you know, he's, a, he's an opinionated person. So mm -hmm. he was very, very free in sharing those opinions. Um, and he was very uh, keen on us living in a certain area. Yes. As long as we were in proximity to that area, which he was, he was familiar with, he was, it was all good. Exactly. Um, I don't think he's ex toured, you know, the rest of the country very extensively or not. But, yeah. You know, yeah. No, it did he, get his approval. So. It, right. <laughs> as long as we were, you know, in the area that he was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As long as we were. familiar with. Like, that's yeah. right. Exactly. As long as it was close to Santon, he was, uh, he was okay with that, which we didn't, you know, put a whole lot of credence into it. Uh, we were, you know, determined to, you know, carve our own path and create our own plan. But uh, yeah, so that definitely was the reaction from um, our parents. Friends. Yeah, so, you know, the, the gambit of the friends uh, and, and other folks um, was like, oh my gosh, that's great. You know, I wish we could do it. You know, and it was sort of um, an opportunity to get a lot of people to think about what they're doing and, you know, how they can can make changes to kind of live more of the life they want to live. Mm -hmm. um, but, but one of the things that we weren't ready for was the questioning on why there. Mm -hmm. And the fill in of like, well, clearly this is Kai's idea mm -hmm. because it's a country in Africa. Like, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what. Yeah, they could. That's the idea. 
Well, which it was your idea. It was my idea, y'all. <laughs> but that was like the whole notion of like, oh, clearly it's her idea. You know, only right. she would want to do this. And so right. Like, well, no, right. like that's not true. And then we weren't really able on the fly to like react to that. Right. Properly. Well, no, but I don't think we, I don't think, I don't think we responded. Um, no, I'm trying to think. No, I mean, I'll, it wasn't said in right. a negative way. It was right. kind of like more of a thing of like, well, if we said switzerland <laughs> would it have been my idea like, yes it would have been <laughs> yeah no i definitely took offense to it um because why could it not have been rich's idea so i think um so yeah so i was offended by the assumption that it had to be my idea and it was but you know just to assume that just because i'm black and i i was obviously i want to move to africa mm -hmm. uh was a bit offensive and then the other assumption was that really and this i think is what bothered me the most is that well rich do you do you really want to go <laughs> like i'm forcing him to move to africa of all places yeah, and I think that's, I don't know, part, a lot of um, uninformed <laughs> opinions. Uh, because, like, the South, South Africa, like, we didn't know much before mm -hmm. we started, you know, take, taking trips here and vacationing. Right. And such. But it's not on folks' radar. Right. Like, when you say, like, oh, Portugal's a hot European country, uh, you know, right now where they're, they're trying to encourage people to move. Right. And you just say that, that's, oh. Sure. Like, of right. course, or, you know, like, like, oh, that's great. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But no one really knows much about South Africa, like mm -hmm. outside of the, the big hitters. Like, right. oh, there's safaris there. That's right. Cape Town's there. That's and you right. have Johannesburg. Uh -huh. But that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Exactly. And, you know, meanwhile, we're having these conversations in Philly. Right. Or, or Philadelphia. As, as, as it's lovingly referred known. to. Yeah. So <laughs> yes. Yes. That really was like, oh, why are we even having this safety conversation? Right. <laughs> when we're in a place that's, you know, unsafe. Yes. In places as well. That's right. Um, yeah. No, I think, um, I think that people, yeah, like I felt like it was kind of, you know, going back to, you know, obviously it's my idea and I'm forcing Rich to come. Um, they, they couldn't fathom that you could, you know, actually enjoy and uh see the value in you know in coming here mm -hmm. um and i think it it just felt like a lot of trying to explain to people why we're doing it um as opposed to it being less of uh i feel like just judging by how i would see because you know during the pandemic it definitely was a thing of americans moving abroad and a lot of people moved to like mexico city and portugal mm. and spain and all these other yeah. places and I felt like, you know, it was people could understand why that they would move to these places. But I think, you know, the concept and the idea of moving to South Africa was so foreign. And almost every time people were like, I think the first question was why? It was rarely like, oh, that's really cool and exciting. It's like, well, why are you doing that? <laughs> so, so that, you know, so that I feel like was you know, not so much with close friends, but with like strangers, that was always like, well, why? Um, so I think that's, yeah, so those, you yeah. know, pretty much were the responses. And then of course, like Rich said, the safety thing comes up so often, even to this present day. And I know we've only been here six months and you can't, you know, change the way people think and feel about um, a country uh, in such a short period of time. But, um, you know, people you know have this assumption of what it is and like with any city that you live in it's like you don't go with the dangers you look for danger you shall find it but if yeah. you you know if you just carry on your day um you know doing what you have to do or you, like if you we have not come into contact with that so i feel like a lot of the um assumptions that we have to counter is like no, this is, it's so the complete opposite of what you think it is. Um, and that's part of the reason why, you know, I personally wanted to do the, um, the videos and share, you know, footage of what we do to push back against, you know, this assumption that, you know, um, South Africa, Johannesburg and specific, uh, and specifically is, you know, dangerous and scary. And, you know, you have to be so careful. Yeah, it's not the entire city or the entire area. You know, it's right. not dominate. Of course, dangerous places and stuff like that do exist. Mm -hmm. I mean, like even back in Philly, there's folks that 
live 10 minutes, 15 minutes outside the city, won't set foot in the city, oh, watch yeah. the news every night. Yes. And it's like, it's more than just, you know, these, these high profile incidents of, you know, dangerous stuff and that happens. So right. I say all that to say like a lot of folks, like they don't know what it is. And I think that's part of the defending the where that we were getting. Cause like yes. people just don't know. They don't know. About South Africa. Or right. Like a lot of the countries is on the continent. Right. Um, Part like of the issue was, yeah, we didn't either. Like, right. you know, it, it's an indictment on the way folks in the U.S., mm -hmm. like their worldview and yep. what, what's what's given at, as like standard knowledge and, uh, you know, for folks. Because um, not everyone has the opportunity to travel. Like, right. Even, even folks that do have the means mm -hmm. usually don't travel that far. Like, right. So we, we took two trips here. Mm -hmm. uh, one was about three weeks. The other was about two weeks, mm -hmm. you know, a year apart, like mm -hmm. January of each year. And each time at work. Everyone's like, well, why are yeah. you how are you taking this much time off? Yeah, I had right. the time. Right. But in the States, right. like, if you take more than a week off mm -hmm. in a row, mm -hmm. they're looking at you funny. Yes. It's, it's a burden. Like, oh, yes. we can't pot you can't be gone that long. Like mm -hmm. we're you know, like all that sort of BS corporate, you know, like guilt. Mm -hmm. So I think part of the issue is like people don't have the opportunity right. to That's come true. here right. for enough time. Right. To relax, right. to see things, to That's explore, right. to take it. You know, you could, right. burn, you could get here in a week and back. You'd probably be very discombobulated oh. with the time change yes. and all, like yes. just the, the time it takes physically to right. get back and forth. Mm -hmm. So I think like that's part of the issue. Like, right. you'll take a shorter vacation, a shorter right. trip. You'll go to the Riviera Maya in Mexico, or you'll go to Europe. Something that's even across the states is six hours. Right. Like it's you know you take those shorter trips, and and trips out here mm -hmm. are more of the Oh, that's a bucket list thing. That's a once. Yes. That's a once in a lifetime. Yeah, because you experience. Right, because you were saying like <laughs> the second time we came to South Africa, your your coworkers were like, "Well, what?" The, are oh, yeah, you a couple of people were like, "Again? Like you're going there again?" I'm right. Like, well, yeah. Like yeah. Yes. So a, there's so much to do. We're going to different. I mean, it was Joburg twice, but it was mm -hmm. like two different cities, mm -hmm. like other cities. So mm -hmm. there's so much to see and do. And thinking it's about it country. more, I'm like, well, would someone, would it have been a question if I said, mm -hmm. oh, we went to Italy yes. and we're going back to Italy That's right. as an example? Like, That's would, right. would people have been like, well, you already ate all the pasta? You know, like, I don't know if anyone, <laughs> I don't right. know if it would have been the same reaction. Yeah. Right. So. No, I feel like um, it definitely would have been, yeah, like people can't, like, People put Africa, the continent as a whole, and also, you know, in South Africa, on like a bucket list. So it's kind of like a once in a lifetime thing. And it's like once you've done that, they can't fathom you wanting to return. Um, and whereas though, you know, other countries, I think the response would not be. Um, it would be. It wouldn't it, be questioned. Right. It would. Much, right. It would be questioned as much. It's like, oh, I'm holidaying in Italy or Ireland or wherever for this summer. I feel like people wouldn't, you know question that but because it's africa it's like you've seen everything so why wow, you went on a safari what more do you need to see so i think yeah so that definitely was a, a, a thing for sure yeah but no one gets side-eyed when mm -hmm. they when they say like oh i'm going down to the shore now typically from the philly area they mean new jersey right so they'll go down there every week every or, or you know for a week in the summer for 30 years right but nobody <laughs> right nobody bats an eye about like right. oh like, right. why, why, you, why, you, why are you going back? back down to jersey again? yeah like, you know. yeah no it's it's all about uh perception and i think also um what is it? Uh, yeah, so it's it's you know people just assume that you know, <laughs> they could imagine why we would want to come back here, and there's so much to see, uh, you know. But people don't have any idea. They just think it's the you like you know, like Rich said the the big hitters, the safaris, Cape Town. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I feel like safaris yeah. in Cape Town. I think are the big things. Yeah, yeah. You know, the more I think about it, like it literally is opportunity. Like you don't have that yeah, opportunity time. because like if you do have yeah time but yeah. if you do or if you are in such a position where you're making decent money yeah and can afford a big trip sure then you can't afford to be away from work that long that's so it's right. kind of like 
Yeah. You know, maybe if you got married, hey, your honeymoon can be somewhere. You know, like right. you can't yeah, and spend I, two weeks on end. That's right. And I feel like that's uh, intentional because it doesn't allow you to even imagine yourself in mm -hmm. a place because you're too busy there. You know, if it's a vacation or a holiday, you're, you know, let me have to do all the things. So you don't even have a second to sit and contemplate. No, well, no. wow, these people are living their lives completely different at a slower pace. And mm -hmm. life is just very, um, yeah. I was like, wait, I can actually not run around like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, I can actually just relax like the locals are. And, you know, so, yeah. So none of these things are designed for you to imagine moving abroad. So I definitely <laughs> understood why people, um, you know, was, you know, because it is a big thing. Like South Africa is very far. Uh, but I think it was just where we were moving to. I don't think I... Um, anticipated people just you know being offensive but not knowing they were being offensive in their response was like they didn't know yeah. but you know that didn't stop me from getting offended so so yes yeah, so i think that most of the overall the responses were supportive they were very supportive but they were definitely followed up with you know questions and the whys and um you know just thinking it's you know crazy you know that you would want to leave America and 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 not only leave America but go to Africa of all places. So yeah, yeah. well that's part and parcel of the whole indoctrination mm -hmm. that the U.S. is the greatest nation, right? The entire planet circles around the states, that's right. and you know, yeah. quite honestly, like it's we don't have that much information readily given right. to the folks in the states. You know about what goes on in the rest of the world right. versus like when you come here or Europe or whatever. Oh like yeah, folks will have you know informed discussions about oh, like yes. what's going on. They get tell yeah, I get all <laughs> people ask often Donald Trump. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Nine times out of ten, he's probably gonna be president again. Uh, so buckle up. But yeah, no, it's uh, yeah. So it's just like you know, like so. There's so many reasons you know, that you would definitely consider, um, you know, doing it if, you know, if, if the desire is there. Um, but definitely don't get discouraged when people, you know, have, you know, questions that may bother you a little bit. <laughs> Just forge ahead. Um, and then since post being here, you know, again, part of the reason that Rich and I, you know, share our actual experience um, and then video footage is because we really do want to counter the narrative of what life is like living here in South Africa specifically um, just by showing you know what we do on our day-to-day -day lives and I have to kind of not mute myself but I definitely have to downplay you know all of the positive positive things quality of life things that have improved in, uh, since being here and how it's impacted me and how it's impacted Nina I don't want to speak for Rich but how it may have impacted Rich because I do want to shout it from the rooftops. I'm like, there is a life outside of America. So, um, you know, <laughs> you know, if you're thinking about doing it, uh, definitely, you know, consider it for sure, because um, people are just different. Uh, the energy is different. Um, yeah, the kind of like, I feel like being here has made me realize how disconnected people are in America as a society, like as a whole, like people here are just so by nature, just kind and friendly. Like I was telling a friend recently that, um, I was like, once you get past all of the, you know, the nice things that we have access, you know, being American, moving over here, obviously, you know, you're able to uh, have access to things that you may not have had in America. But like, once you get past all the superficial things, it's just like, it really is the people and the kindness of the people. And, um, and just how thoughtful they are. Like I, you know, at Nina's school, like the teachers, they make sure the kids communicate. If they do something that's harmful to, you know, each other, or just, they're just, they're just thoughtful, <laughs> thoughtful people. And I didn't realize how starved of connection with actual, the general public, you know, that I was, mm -hmm. um, until like just being out and about here and just witnessing the kindness of others and how people are how they interact with each other and like you know so but you know particularly growing up in the north uh the northeast you definitely are you tend to be a little hardened um so i think you know so when you're out 
you know, in the world, you you definitely, you know, you don't see those connections with other people. I mean, you see connections, but they're not, you know, necessarily kind. Um, so yeah, so just little things like that. It's just affirmations. Like, oh no, this is a society that I want to raise Nina in. And this is a society that I want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's all of the, you know, the, I'm going to sound cliche here, <laughs> but all the quality of life attributes, features, like mm -hmm. all the stuff that like you can feel but you know sometimes can't describe. Yes. You know, so the <laughs> difference between the two is is stark. stark. So the Yes. the relentless rat race, the mm -hmm. the running harder but getting behind, like mm -hmm. all of that in the states, let alone the like the northeast attitude of mm -hmm. You got to put some armor on every day right. when you go out right. and it's exhausting. Yes, um, it is. Yes, it you know, is But not until you're out of that environment mm -hmm. long enough to like actually let your guard down. Like, right. do you, do you, can you appreciate the difference? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's all, it's all of the, the small things, like all of the, the you know, the, the, the quotable work-life balance and, yeah. you know, things like that. Like it's... Yeah. And just the you know, interactions that people have with each other like when we go out to eat like everything's mm -hmm. sister like it's just and just i watch how other people engage with each other and it just it is just um like i said it just makes me realize how much of america is not that like the southern part of america tends to be a little bit more um uh uh family-centered or more community-centered yeah, like southern hospitality right thank you like, southern yeah. hospitality like that does exist but you know there's limits to that and uh, who gets the hospitality um <laughs> but yeah so uh, so yeah so overall definitely do not get discouraged by people's you know responses and reactions lord knows if we would have you know it was like oh are we doing the wrong thing or second guess you know our decisions we wouldn't be here living a life that you know that i could never have imagined so you got anything else rich no that was it all right, you guys, was well, a very long-winded uh, conversation <laughs> as to what people's responses were um, to us moving abroad. So some were expected, some weren't, but I hope that this was, I don't know, I don't know if helpful is the word, Informative? Informative, informative. Uh, and for my South African Yeah, enlightening too. Uh, and for our South African um, friends that watch, it's like, oh, just get a peek into, you know, what, you know, what Americans think. Uh, so yeah, thank you, of course, for subscribing, watching, uh, comment. Um, please feel free to leave feedback because y'all know we listen. Uh, but yeah, so we're always humble that you guys, you know, care to listen to anything we have to say if you made it this far into the video. Uh, but we're grateful. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Yeah.